Hello everybody and welcome to On The Spot STEM. Today we will be tackling the 2019 AMC 12B number 13, as well as the AMC 2019 10B number 17. So this problem states that a red ball and a green ball are randomly and independently tossed into bins numbered with the positive integers, so that for that each ball, the probability that it is tossed into bin K is two to the negative K. So for example, the first bin will have a probability of one half, of getting a ball tossed into it, the second one will be one fourth, the third one will be one eighth, and so on and so on. So we want to find the probability that the red ball is tossed into a higher numbered bin than the green ball. So for starters, there is nothing special about the red ball and green ball except for their color. So the probability that the red ball is tossed into a higher number ball bin than the green ball will be the same as the green ball getting tossed into the pro uh, higher bin than the red ball. So let's label a probability A as the probability that red is greater than green. So we want to find this value of A, but we also know that A is also going to be equal to the probability that green is greater than red. So A will equal the probability that green is greater than red. But now there's one state that we're missing, right? And that is the probability that red and green get tossed into the same bin. So let's label a probability B that the green ball and the red ball get tossed into the same bin. And we'll denote this as green equals R. So now we want to find each of these different states. So since these are the only possibilities that can happen, we know that they must add up to one because all probabilities must add up to 1. So we know that 2a plus b is going to be equal to 1. So now if we can find a or b, we can easily solve for the other one and get this system of equations to work. Now the easiest one just by inspection to solve for looks to be this one, that find the probability that the green and the red land in the same bit. So let's try and see how this might work. So what's the probability that they land in the first bin? They both land in the first bin. So I have a one half probability that the green one lands in the first bin times a one half probability that the red one lands in a first bin. And I get a probability of one fourth. Okay, this is for the case when they both land into the first bin. What about when they both land into the second bin? Well, the green one has a one-fourth probability of being tossed into the second bin, and the red one also has a probability of one-fourth of being tossed into it. So our total probability is one-sixteenth. Now, let's try and generalize this for the case bin. Well, the probability that the first green ball gets tossed into the case bin is one over two to the negative k. And the probability that the second one gets tossed into it is also 1 over 2 to the negative k. So the probability that they both get tossed into bin k is 1 over 4 to the negative k. And we want to find the sum of all values of for all bins k. We want to find the probability that they both land in the first one plus the second one plus the third one. And this ends up being an infinite series with a common ratio of one fourth. And we know how to find the sum of an infinite series with a ratio of one fourth. We know that it's going to be one fourth because that's our starting term divided by one minus the common ratio, which in our case is also one fourth. And this ends up being equal to one third. So we know that the probability, the infinite sum of them landing in the same bin is equal to one third. And this is also equal to B in our case. So let's plug it back into our original equation. We know that 2A plus B is going to be equal to one. And from our earlier case where we found this sum, we know that b equals a third. 
So plugging this into our system of equations, we get that 2a equals 2 thirds. So a equals 1 third. And if we look at our original equation, what we want to find is we want to find the probability that the red ball is tossed into a higher number bin than the green ball. And we know that A equals this probability that red is greater than G. So we know that A, which equals one third, is our answer. So we get C as our final answer.